Coles heaven sent. So, of course, after the Alabama-Texas game, a game which Texas defeated Alabama by about 10 points in Alabama, uh, it, it got a little ugly, and I don't think that that's uncommon. Uh, it's probably uncommon for Alabama fans to do because they don't tend to lose a lot. But some of the ra- – they, they hurl, hurled racial slur- slurs and homophobic slurs. They were calling them the N-word and the F-word. And it was ironic to me and, and telling them to go back to the ghetto – but I guarantee you that most of the people that those Alabama fans were talking to, that school recruited. I guarantee you they did. So they in words and f words when they don't when they when they do it to you, but not when they do it for you. Alabama's running out of runway. Remember, it used to be one of the reasons you the only reason I can think of literally to go to Alabama is to watch the Alabama football. That's it. That's all. And if you're going to have to go and hear stuff like that, and all. all Unfairly or fairly, what we know about people, our judgments, assessments we make about people, is ju- generally uh, what's, what's permeating in the news. And what has Alabama been in the news for? A girl who can't claim she was abducted and she wasn't. Uh, rednecks jumping on somebody at a pier. Uh, now Alabama football uh, fans going uh, being as racist as we believe they are. Let me tell you something. Almost everything you hear about Alabama is not one of those things you want to be proud of. You can say whatever you want to say. They are, they're literally the butt of a lot of jokes. They're the butt of a lot of uh, memes. They're the butt of people thinking things about them. And fans like that do not uh, make it easier. If I got an athlete and he's a top tier athlete and I'm looking at schools to go to, one of the things, reasons you look at schools is not just for the football, it's for the environment. It's because it's I want my children or my child to go somewhere where not only they're going to be appreciated for their athletic prowess, but they can have a, a wholesome, safe environment. It, it, that, those epithets rolled out of those fans' lips uh, too easy for me to believe that it's a current uncommon occurrence. Isn't it funny how the places where they hate us the most, they love us the most on Saturdays when it's a, a college football or Sundays when it's pro football, an occasional Thursday or Friday when it's Monday night football? Isn't it ironic that the very N-words and F-words that you hated because they beat you, you recruited and wanted them to come there? So their brother, they, they, they're an N-word and an F-word when, uh, when they're playing against you, but for you, they're your friend. Well, we don't see color. You say stuff like that. I guarantee you that's not an uncommon occurrence. The lo- losing for Alabama is a very uncommon occurrence. But fans' attitudes about those things are not. It's not. You don't have a lot of runway. Tell me all the things you know. Who like? I bet you Alabama doesn't even have a tourist bureau. And if it does, it just says, come see me roll tide play or Auburn play. What do you think it looks like? First, we see you have a woman say she was abducted. She wasn't. We see you have uh, your rednecks jump on somebody at a pier. And now this. Do you really think that that's going to help that school? You really, I'm, I'm talking about any, any idea of what Alabama is. You are what people see you doing. And we see that all the time. Even if, it, if, even if it's a stereotype, did that audience shock you by what they were saying? I guarantee you most black people had that idea of that place anyway. I remember a couple of years ago, Alabama had the uh, most my, uh, tough migrant laws in the country. They kicked all the Mexicans out. And then they wondered who was going to pick the cotton. And black people was like, y'all, we had our turn. You are becoming a caricature. A caricature. Those and you were talking to chill kids. They're a little more than kids. They just left their mama house, and all of a sudden, grown people are calling them the f words and the n words, and all because you lost. All because you lost a game, and every single one of those people that you derided, that you that you uh, that you uh, talked about, that you besmirched, you I guarantee you had several recruiting trips for. They said no to you. That's why you mad at them. You're a poor loser and a poor winner. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got a jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.O. Hubley Show.